All right, Flyway Mechanic here, and I just want to do a quick video on how you can cheer, clear your check engine light without a scan tool. Um, I actually got a scan tool hooked up right now just to show you guys what we have as far as codes and things. But um, I'm going to tell you how to clear it without a scan tool and also um, a number of reasons why in a lot of cases you shouldn't clear it. So let's get right into this. Um, I got the scanner hooked up. And first we're just uh, looking at the monitors here to see if all the monitors are set. Which is uh, basically a series of tests that your computer goes through to make sure all the systems are working right. And um, it's all set. We're going to go down and see what we got for codes here. we got a P055, P0456 small EVAP leak and a P0442 for a small small leak. So um, we're going to go ahead and try and clear these without using the scan tool. And all I'm going to do is go under the hood here. And... I've already loosened up these battery terminals and we're just going to disconnect them for, oh, I'd say about a minute. And also, it's a good idea, a lot of times um, these cables don't reach, but you can short them out, short them out with a wrench or something like they do here. And what that's going to do is it's actually going to, um, it's going to drain the power that may be stored in the computer or anything like that. So just short those out briefly, leave this disconnected for about a minute which I'm going to do, and we'll be right back. Alright, so we had the battery disconnected for a little over a minute. Um, we shorted out the wrench just to drain all the power that may be stored in any of the computers. Uh, now, just a word of advice, this does not work on all vehicles. It works on um, most old, older model vehicles, where this one is a little newer. It may not even work. So um, let's go in here and we'll start it up and see if uh, the check engine light's going. All right, so as you can see, that did work. Um, now what we're gonna find on the scanner, I will show you guys. We're gonna have to retry. I'll also leave a link below where you can get this little handheld scanner. It comes in real handy. Alright, so by disconnecting the battery for a minute, we did get our check engine light clear. But, I'll show you what happens after we do that. As soon as we get connected here. Alright, so now you can see we're looking at these emissions monitors. It says IM monitors. DTC is cleared. We're looking at these monitors and they're all reading incomplete. The INC means incomplete, which means none of these tests have been run. Now what happens when none of these tests have been run, if you go in for an emissions test or something like that, even though your check engine light is off, um, it's still going to fail the emission test until all these, until all these monitors have uh, passed. And if they haven't passed, that's when it's going to set codes. Now also a lot of times when you're going to buy a vehicle, if um, you're buying a used vehicle and they're, you know, uh, the seller's a little sketchy, they may have went in and cleared the check engine light, and that light's not going to come back on until these tests are set. So you may purchase a vehicle with no check engine light, and then you drive down the road and the light pops on. So if you are purchasing a new vehicle, it's always a good idea to have one of these little handheld scanners, and you can plug it in, and you can look at the monitors and see if they have set. If they have not set, then that means they probably cleared the light, and um, there's probably a problem in the emission system somewhere. So always be aware of that also if you have a check engine light and you plan on bringing it to get repaired you definitely do not want to clear that light before you bring it to the repair shop because you bring it in and they're not going to have any information to go by or a code i mean unless you write that code down prior to clearing it which is something you probably always want to do that's why one of these little handheld scanners comes in real handy because um it's not a bad idea to clear the code and drive the vehicle just to make sure it wasn't it wasn't a fluke or something like in this case we have some evap codes um so it's possible you know the customer may have just let the gas cap loose or something along those lines so in a case like this um it would always be a good idea to drive clear the code drive it and see if it comes back if it does come back then you're going to want to leave that light on until uh, you get it looked at 
that way the technician looking at it has information to go by because if you guys if, if it gets clear then they really have nothing to go by and they won't be able to fix it but that about does it for this video guys if it was helpful uh, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and uh, subscribe to the flat rate mechanic thanks